welcome back to the channel or if you're new here welcome um, or if you're back welcome back um i'm hopping on here today because i got um a few things from amazon which i got quite a bit from amazon um so yesterday if you haven't watched uh, my video already about my huge garage sale haul um i got all that stuff yesterday um, which I think you guys will really, really enjoy because only teachers will like appreciate it as much as I appreciated it. Um, so if you haven't watched that yet, check that out. And then today all my Amazon stuff showed up. So it's like Christmas um, around here. So I just wanted to unbox everything real quick, show you kind of like what I got. Um, this is more like essentials um, that I need like as a teacher um, before I start summer school um, that I don't didn't have and so like I felt like they were pretty essential and so I went ahead and like bought them um, so let's get right into it okay so first things first is a pencil sharpener guys um, so I ordered the um, pretty basic pencil sharpener um, it's a school pro electric sh pencil sharpener from Amazon. Um, I actually think I got this like from Amazon warehouse and it said the it was in very good condition. The package was just damaged and this was the only damage to the package. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got this for like $15 and Okay, I lied. I'm thinking about something else. This was like an Amazon, um, oh, it was one of their deals. I want to say like one of their electric deals. I don't know. Is that a thing? Anyways, it was on like a deal and it had like a countdown and everything and it was $15 and originally it was $25, I want to say, and then um if you've watched a previous video i also found this at um office supply um my office supply here in town was going out of business and i found one of these and they wanted 50 dollars for it and i was like mm, nope um which is crazy because it was like 30 percent off or something anyways heck of a deal on this and so i i got it i went ahead and ordered it so that came in like the other day um, that wasn't exactly in this haul, but um, figured I'd share it with you. Um, next, I've seen these all over YouTube, and everyone says they're like a staple to have in your classroom. Next, I found these um, sticky clips. Everyone says they're kind of like a staple to have in the classroom, so I ordered some of those. Next are these sticky clips. Um, I've seen these all over YouTube, and everyone says they're like a staple to have in the classroom. Um, so I grabbed just a few of those, just one box of them, um, and see where I can use those at. And then next are these um, whistles. I don't have any whistles. Um, so I originally had like the silver ones in my cart, but I was like, ooh, gold would be really, really cute. Um, so what I'll probably do is just take it off of this black lanyard and I'm gonna buy a cute lanyard. I just haven't decided on one yet and um i'll put my gold whistle on my cute lanyard or i can leave it on here it really doesn't look bad kind of clashes but whatever and i'm pretty sure i thought the gold would be more expensive than the silver but it was actually cheaper so i was like oh it's a win-win so um, i think it was like two for five i don't know why are whistles so expensive i don't know I'm only going to try to put that back in the bag now. Next is a, um, like, I don't know what these are called. Exacto knives, maybe. 
And so I hear that these are just really nice to have when you're um, like putting up bulletin board or bulletin board paper. And so it's just like an X-Acto knife. And then it came with um, a bunch of blades and a ruler. I don't, I don't really need a ruler, but you never know. Um, but I got it super cheap. Actually has quite a bit of blades with it, so that's really cool. And so, again, I feel like this was like an essential thing to have in the classroom because you could use it, you literally could use it for anything. Okay, next up is I'm pretty excited about um, my pair, my three pairs of scissors or my three pack of scissors. They're such cute colors for one and like, I don't know. I have never been able to find like a really good um, pair of scissors except like kitchen scissors. So I'm really excited about these. They had good reviews and they're like the most cute colors ever. And so yeah, there's my scissors. Next is ooh, my stapler. So these are kind of things like I said, they're essential. Um, I already have like all these things around my house, but I also didn't want to take from my house because then I won't have it at home. So you kind of need to buy another thing of everything. So this is my stapler. Um, it's the, what is this? String line? Is that what it's? String line? I think that's what it is. I don't know, the most basic stapler you can get, but it's in this like super cute blue color. I had to have the blue. Um, so yeah, super excited about my stapler. I already have staples. I have a bunch of staples already in my teacher toolbox. Um, so I didn't need more of those yet. But that's my cute stapler I'm really excited about. Next is just a three hole punch. This is what I was thinking about earlier about the Amazon um, warehouse deal. So if you can find like a good deal on Amazon warehouse products, um, look for like the condition to be very good. Um, and a lot of times the packaging is just damaged on it. Um, and it's usually fine. So like, I'll have to figure this out, but it, it looks fine. Like it doesn't look broken or anything. So it looks good to me. So that was awesome. I got this pretty cheap, I believe, because it was Amazon warehouse. So there is my three hole punch. Again, you'll probably have a three pool punch in your um, actual school, but will you have one within your classroom? Probably not. So my three punch. Next, uh, I just got some washi tape. This I want to use for my books. I'm not sure exactly how, but um, Pretty much I want to be able to, for my students to be able to return my books to the right bin um, after they're done using them. And sometimes, I don't know, it might be hard for them to read like my label. I have pictures and everything, so surely they could match it that way. Um, but I just feel like um, color coded would be good for first grade or even if I were to move to kindergarten um so I got the washi tape and I kind of thought they would be bigger than they are but they're still pretty good there's a good amount there and I think that's perfect for my books because I don't want too much color on my books or tape on my books so washi tape for that um oh tape on me Next, I just got some Velcro um, strips. Um, so I'm literally prepping all that I can. So like all my calendar stuff will need um, 
well, most of my calendar stuff will need, not even most, some of my calendar stuff will need Velcro on it. Um, so I went ahead and purchased Velcro. Um, so I have um, the circles and then I also have the strips and those are fairly cheap as well and um, I got a lot of it. So that will definitely come in handy. Next, oh, these are my lights, which I'm really excited about. Um, I was gonna hold off on these because they weren't like an essential thing. They were kind of a thing that I wanted. Um, but let me use my X-Acto knife to open this. I just tore the packaging, I suck. Um, but they were on a pretty good deal. Honestly, holy cow, this is sharp. Okay, that's really sharp, so don't let your kids play with it. Okay. Anyways, these lights were on a really good deal. I've heard people finding them in Target Dollar Spot. But, um, so they're the Energizer brand so I figured if I spend a good amount of money on it now hopefully they won't break and so that's my hope and these are going to be like my voice level lights they have call for four double A's I think that's gonna be the expensive part is the batteries I don't know We'll try it out. I like the idea, so we'll see how it works. We'll see how much batteries I go through. I don't know, um, but it's just a fun idea, I think, and I think it's more of an incentive for students to actually be able to look at the voice level and then carry out the voice level. <laughs> Next are these little um, like paper clips and rubber bands and stuff. I think I'm going to return this. This is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know. I'll double check on the price on this. There is 300 pieces and it just has rubber bands, paper clips, and then um, I forget what those things are called, but like paper holders. You know what I'm talking about? And they're just cute colors. So I got them. But I now have plenty of paper clips because I found a bunch at the garage sale. Um, my cooperating teacher gave me a bunch of rubber bands. And then I have a few paper holders. But I feel like maybe I'll just return this and then just purchase paper holders instead of all of this stuff. And um, then I'll be set. So I think I'm going to go ahead and return that. But um, it's not a bad deal if you need all those things to get you started. Next are my, um, they're kind of like file folders, I guess. They are file folders. I'm really loving this X-Acto knife, but it's so sharp that it cuts, it doesn't only cut the tape, it cuts the box too. So I just got gray, um, I want to say there's like 30 in each box, I got two boxes, 25 count. Um, and then what I'm going to use these for, um, I will probably honestly store like student data in here, I will store um, like master copies in here. Um, those are my two big ones uh, and what I got these folders for. And then I'll show you my bins that I got them for because they're really nice. And so, guys, I love a good organizational bin. Like, give me all the bins. I'm here for it. So let me show you my bins. I haven't actually got them out yet. So I believe there's four. Yeah. Okay, so they're not 
like huge, but they are like perfect size for um, storing your file folders or your files. So then what you do with your file is you're able to hang it in this bin. It has like a slot to hang file folders if I can get my life together. And so I could literally just label the months for my like master copies, or I can label each folder with student numbers and then, um, kind of gross, something on that one, um, label them with my student numbers and then keep data in these. Um, so that is my plan for these guys. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super happy with my Amazon haul. Um, I believe that is all I bought from Amazon. I did buy some cardstock because I need more cardstock to print more stuff. Um, and so I think I'm just gonna start really prepping everything. Um, I've been on TBT trying to find um, just like, I don't even know guys, like things for my task cards, early finishers. Um, I've been trying to create my, um, like meet the teacher night, um, first day of school things. I'm not too focused on summer school right now because from what I hear, the curriculum's all set for me. Um, but I might find like a few things here and there that I want to do with them. And then... I don't want to order any more like big furniture. I might get a rolly cart, but I don't want to order any big furniture until I'm in my room and I know exactly what I can expect, like room wise and space wise. Um, so I'm holding off on that. Um, 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 I think that's really it. I feel like I'm really well set. I just need to start digging into like my task boxes and like all those things because I want to have all that ready before I get crammed with like PD days and all the other things that I need to get ready for um and like creating lesson plans and stuff like that for the first week um so I want to get those started um so yeah that is my plan. That is what I've been doing. Two big hauls in one week is super, super fun and makes you really, really exciting. But now it's on to the not so fun part and that's just prepping everything. So like literally printing everything out, laminating it and getting it cut and in its right place for what you need it for. So that is going to be my job now and that is what I'm going to focus on. And so I will catch you guys up. I don't know what my next video will be, um, but I have a few fun ones planned for you guys. So um, make sure if you are enjoying this content, please, please, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment. Um, I don't know, literally I could use any advice possible. And um, also if there's any videos that you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.